Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this morning I have another category video for you guys. And this one is on items that can be found in the kitchen. So make sure when you go to that estate sale, you are checking the kitchen. Thrift stores have kitchen stuff, um, garage sales, yard sales. So there are lots of places where you can source for kitchen items. Um, I recently did a retail arbitrage um, video and those are great for um, buying stuff on clearance at stores that are kitchen items. I don't have a whole lot of those in this video, but it's always an option. So be sure to use your um, scanner on your phone to search solds. Um, you can search barcodes or buy pictures. So make sure you're using that resource. Um, we are gonna get started here. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe below. Also down in the corner, there's a little red rectangle that says subscribe. You can also click on that to subscribe. So here we go. All right, the first item is this magnet. Now, not every magnet is gonna sell for $89, but this little guy, I wouldn't even have thought if I saw this at a garage sale or something that this would go for $89. So um, yeah, I, I've sold magnets in lots before, but I've never sold one individually for so much money. So I hope to in the future, but this is a cool bolo. I'm guessing it's probably not something that happens often, but uh, definitely be on the lookout for magnets and check um, check solds. See if there's any that match it. See if it's going for a lot. But typically you can pick these up like at garage sales and even at thrift stores, they'll just bundle them up and you can purchase them as a lot. So be on the lookout for those. All right, this is a Kellogg's um, cereal toy. <laughs> and I don't even know how um, to recognize when something is a toy out of a cereal box because I would see this and think that it was just a little plastic junky toy. I would never ever think that it had this kind of value. Um, let me see, I wonder how to do. I was gonna see if it had any information in the description that kind of told us how they know it came out of a cereal box. I've never heard of um, R and L Kingly Crater Critter Space Alien Kellogg cereal. So I don't know, it must be old. But anyway, this little guy sold for $212. And I'm just gonna go in here because I'm a little curious to see the feedback of the people bidding. And everybody has a decent amount of feedback and there were five bidders. So. It didn't say the item was relisted, so I'm gonna guess that this sale went through. So I guess collecting cereal box toys are a pretty big thing if it's going for $212. So be on the lookout for those. Again, I don't know how to recognize it. Maybe it's something I need to research. Here is a uh, cereal box from the 1960s, uh, rice crinkles. And you can see it looks like the bottom is missing and it looks like the top is cut off also. So maybe it was laying flat. So not even in mint condition. Um, and it sold for $341. Again, I wanna kind of go in and look at this. And I'm not gonna do this for everyone because I know it takes time, but there were six bidders and the winning bidder had 1,470 feedback. And typically the people that have a lot of feedback pay, so. The Joy of Cooking. So this is a cooking book from 1943-1946 and it has 14 bids and it sold for $50. So cookbooks I think are hit or miss. I would definitely um, search solds if you see them and if you can't find a comparable, if it's like a buck or two, I say grab it and try it. And then we've talked about this one in another video. Um, selling coupons i did a video on that if you haven't seen it be sure to check it out it's crazy what people are selling and buying coupons for but here are a thousand um they're calling them vintage but they have no expiration dates so they can still be used and these sold for 216 dollars with 91 bids here's another cookbook it's a betty crocker this one sold for $95. I remember being at an estate sale and there were tons of cookbooks and I walked out without a single one of them because I didn't know. So definitely search cookbooks. 
Now these are recipe booklets and there's 40 of them here. So they're just like the little booklets and these are vintage. You can see here, they've just got, you know, little recipes on each page. This sold for $152. Again, I feel like this is something you could get pretty cheap at an estate sale. Like a lot of times they'll just lot those up and be like, here you go. And sometimes they're a buck a piece, but even if they were a buck a piece, you know, you would have $40 in it. Actually, these are small. I mean, these might be a quarter or 50 cents. So definitely a good profit. Even if you paid a buck a piece, that'd be $40. Still a nice profit. All right, vintage recipes. Now these are handwritten recipes and these go for big money. I think people are always looking for like that amazing recipe that they've never, you know, never cooked before people that cook. I'm not much of a cook. So I'm like, I look at recipes and I'm like, what kind of seasoning is that? How do I find that? I feel like if I try to cook something that's like fancy, I spend like a half an hour at the store trying to find the ingredients. Anyway, this sold for $202.50 with 24 bids. All right, these are, um, these are cocktail napkins. And obviously the content that is on the napkin is probably what made these go for more. But I saw another one that was very similar that went for a lot of money also. So if you ever see these, um, sexy girl <laughs> napkins, <laughs> uh, definitely pick them up. This sold for $346 with eight bids. This is a vintage Corning ware. Um, it's an electric coffee pot. I'm gonna show you a couple more pictures of it here. And this sold for $125.99 with 19 bids. Here is another coffee maker, and this one's a GE, and it still has the original box. You can see it's got all the little pieces and parts that go with it. And this sold for $202.50 with 29 bids. It's a nine cupper from the 50s. All right, this is a Franciscan apple jelly jar. And I'm gonna show you, this is what's on the bottom. I don't know if it's the brand or if it is just that somebody really liked the style and like the paint job, whatever you wanna call it. Is it apples or floor? I don't, I think those are apples. Yeah, apple. Um, but anyway, this sold for $79 with 29 bids. Rolling pins, these are hit or miss, but um, if you can pick up a lot like this cheap, this sold for $61 with 29 bids. That looks like a bat. That doesn't even look like a rolling pin. Yes, it doesn't really look like a bat either, does it? All right, here is an old Griswold cast iron three leg um, pot. And it is not in great shape. You can see it's it's pretty beat up and old, but it is from the 1920s. And I have no idea how they dated it. Maybe it says down here. Yeah, 1920, that's how they dated it. So that is very, very cool. So even if these are not in mint condition, I guess because it's old, people still want it as like maybe a decorative piece because I doubt anybody's gonna be cooking out of it. But this sold for 338.33 with nine bids. All right, coffee mugs. This is one that was not in my coffee mug video. If you missed my coffee mug video, go check it out. You'll be amazed. This sold for $137.50. It's a 1978 Marvel coffee mug and it has Spider-Man on the front. It's got the date on it, you can see there. And it had 33 bids, guys. This is a log cabin SERP tin. And I have no idea if it's full or if it's empty. I'm guessing it's empty, but this sold for $68.09. So old advertising is hit or miss, but this one did pretty well. Tupperware, um, again, Tupperware is hit or miss. If you see it, search comps um, for the item. This is a salt and pepper shaker. And these sold for $51 with 29 bids. 
Fiesta, again, Fiesta usually does decent. Um, if you see Fiesta, it looks like this. Here's the little uh, logo on the bottom. If you see something like this, it's usually like the colored uh, glassware. Definitely search comps. This one sold for $240 with 15 bids. Lunchbox, metal lunchboxes that are vintage, definitely search solds on those if you see one. Again, hit or miss on these, but some of them go for big money. This here's the Jetsons, and this sold for $660 with 14 bids and free shipping. MCM, which is mid-century modern, and this is Franciscan Starburst Atomic Retro Child's Plate. So it looks like there's two plates here. I would see these and I'd be like, those are super cool. I would not think that they would be worth $78. And this one even has a chip. So these two plates with a chip sold for $78, only three bids. So maybe the seller got lucky, but definitely something to be on the lookout for, especially if they're in mint condition. Here is another, um, this is Howdy Doody. And it's a three piece children's dining set. It is ceramic and has the original box and it's from the 50s and it's super cool. I can see why this is a bolo. Here's what's on the back. It says Taylor Smith, USA. This box, how cool is this? I love it. I would totally pick this up if I saw it. Um, it went for $163.50 with 26 bids. Waterproof vinyl bibs. Okay, so there's a market for these guys. This one sold for $83 with 37 bids. And you can see it's just made in China. It's nothing, you know, super fancy. It's just Cookie Monster. Looks, I think it ties around the neck. Yep. So nothing fancy. I like the, um, like there's tie, um, Velcro, and then there's snap. So it's all like a preference on what you like. So this sold for $83 with 37 bids but I really like the um, Cookie Monster logo. I think that's what really increased the price on that one. But these, maybe it's the vinyl, I don't know, because um, maybe the people that are buying the diapers are also buying these. I have no idea what is going on, but these sold for $115, and they're just bibs. Now these are Gerber, so these are a name brand, and there's three of them. So $115.50 with five bids. And there was another set of three like this. I'm guessing it was the same seller. Um, I saw it in the solds and it went for around the same amount. So, and they are a larger bib. They're 12.5 by 16. So more coverage, I don't know. And they did put adult baby. So they are um, selling to a market. The next one, here we go. Lot of four vintage Walt Disney forks and spoon by Bonnie. I actually just found the Donald Duck one of these and I was searching solds and they do pretty good. So um, am I going to be rich off of it? No. And I only have one and mine's a fork, a Donald Duck fork. So be on the lookout for these. They do decent. These sold for $42 with 16 bids. Pyrex, vintage Pyrex. So vintage Pyrex, I have a video on it, is hit or miss. Don't make the mistake I made and think that it's all worth tons of money. Um, thankfully, the stuff I bought, I didn't pay anything for it and I ended up making my money back. But um, you know, I saw Pyrex and I got all excited. This is when I first started looking for bolos. So be careful, it's not all created equal. Um, this one is going, this one sold for uh, $3,072 with 15 bids. So this one is definitely one to be on the lookout for. Um, if you don't know anything about Pyrex, it will say Pyrex on the bottom. And you can see here, they put a picture of, it's the promotional Cinderella Bowl series. So there's ways to look up what um, the pattern is. So yeah. Definitely search um, solds when you see Pyrex. 
This one's cool. This is a vintage 50s or 60s soft drink mix so store display, and then it's got the Kool-Aid still in it. I would not recommend drinking this Kool-Aid. Oh, I just got a cha-ching. We all love that sound, right? Um, I need more cha-chings in my life. All right. So this sold for $42.32, and it's an advertising thing. Nobody's going to drink that, I would hope. Um, stranger things have happened. Maybe this is somebody's favorite soft drink. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. All right, anything sterling silver, silverware, if you can get it for the right price, it's definitely a bolo. Um, most people know when they have sterling silver and you're not gonna get it super cheap, but I have seen people find them like at the Goodwill and like the sil silverware totes. I don't even look through those. I probably should, but I just don't have the patience. So definitely, definitely, um, if you see sterling and you can get it cheap, definitely get it. This, so these two pieces sold for $155 with three bids. Set of 11 vintage imperial candle wick dinner plates, 10 inch. I feel like I have seen these before. Um, I don't know, maybe my grandma had them, but these sold for $203.49, super cool. All right, this vintage pic picnic, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, vintage picnic basket from the 40s. Super cute. This sold for $138.06. I'm gonna show you the bottom here. It says, well, I can't read what it says. It's backwards. Hmm, that's weird. Anyway, this had five bids and shipping was paid by the buyer. Here's another vintage Griswold. Anything cast iron that's Griswold, I would buy it if you can get it for a good price. This is a um, iron Pizzell waffle iron cookie press, and this sold for $163 with 21 bids. All right, here is another cookie press, and this sold for $255. You can see here it's got the different shapes, but these cookie presses, man, some of them go for big money. So definitely search comps if you see them. I feel like this is something I could get at a garage sale pretty cheap or a thrift store. So $255, 23 bids plus shipping. All right, I featured these in another video, but they definitely go in this um, category. So I'm gonna throw them in in case you missed my other video. These are Martha Stewart Copper cookie cutters. There's seven of them here. Nothing too fancy. And these sold for $255 with 70 bids. Cookie jars. Um, cookie jars, again, are hit or miss, but some of the cookie jars go for big money. This is a Lefton. Um, let me see if I can find you a... Here we go. This is what it looks like on the bottom. And this sold for $300 with 35 bids plus shipping. Aprons, vintage aprons. So this is that, I forget what this cat's called. Oh, Kilbin, Clibins, Clibins? I might be saying that wrong. K-L-I-B-A-N. Uh, K and it's down here, you can see it right here, but definitely be on the lookout for that brand. Um, it's... From what I understand, people that collect cat items really like that brand. This sold for $76.25. And here is another apron. This one has bunnies and planes and cats and dogs. It's just a vintage apron. And this sold for $76 with 14 bids plus shipping. Here's another recipe tin box. And this one is smaller and it didn't go for as much, but it still went for $56. 26 bids plus shipping. The next item are these amber kitchen cooking utensils. And I pulled this one up because I've never seen anything quite like this, but I'm just gonna kind of go over the picture here. And they're Robinson. And I there's only one photo, which I like more photos than that, but Hey, you know, these sold for $61 with 10 bids plus shipping. 
This is a vintage antique KitchenAid nine cup measuring glass for coffee. Never seen such a thing, it's pretty cool. This sold for $67.66 with six bids plus shipping. Here is a Vin or I'm sorry, a Wagner Sydney O Twin Waffle Iron. It's cast iron and it sold for $63. And here's what the inside looks like. How cool is that? I kind of think that's awesome. The next item is this vintage universal kitchen toaster. It is an antique. I'm trying to figure out how it even works. Where does the toast go in? Ah, interesting. So this is an old, old, old toaster. And I'm actually surprised it didn't sell for more. It's pretty cool. And it looks like in that one picture that it's, it looked like it was lit up. Yeah, so it works. How cool is that? Sold for $69.99 with two bids. Okay, I thought this was super cool. I would see this and I, other than it telling me what it is, I would not know what it was. So it does say pot and pan scraper. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's not even in mint condition. It's, you know, it's got some, it's got some wear. It looks like somebody used it as a cutting board. But this sold for $76 with 13 bids. Canisters. Canisters are hit or miss. Um, I think that this pair or set, I'm sorry, not pair, pairs too. This set did really well because um, of the uniqueness of the flowers on it. It's just pretty and you know, people that are going for that look in their kitchen, probably something like this that's old and looks pretty is hard to find. But this sold for $87 with 15 bids. I did see some others that did well, but again, definitely hit or miss on this one. Do your homework. This old wood bread box sold for $88, 27 bids plus shipping. And shipping's a little high on this one, um, probably because it's a heavier item. So again, something I'd probably walk right past. Now, these have the Bakelite handles. So I'm guessing that is what kind of drove the price up on these. And you can see they've all got like that says $28. So they left the original like, I don't know if that so maybe they got them at an estate sale or no, because that looks like an old tag. So I have no idea what's going on here, but these sold for $94 with four bids. This is a pitcher or a jug, and it's got pink roses on it. I'm trying to see, just says shabby cottage chic. Um, I don't see a brand. Let me see if there's, brand is unknown. So it's just pretty, I guess, if you like that type of thing. There's no brand, it is old, but this sold for $110.05, unbranded. That's amazing. And maybe somebody who bought it knows what brand it is, and maybe it's a good brand, but it's not marked. So we shouldn't say unbranded, we should say unmarked. These are green depression glass jar shakers, which are super cool in my opinion. And they've got the little tea, rice, um, some of them have labels, some of them don't. This sold for $132.50 with 36 bids. This is a butcher meat uh, cleaver, I think is how you say it. Yeah, that looks scary. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, it's Curtis, and this sold for $147.50 with 25 bids. Here's another one of those um, pot and pan scrapers. And I don't think this one says that it, what it is. So if you, oh, nope, it does when using this pot pans. Yep. So these are just old advertisement pieces, but they go for a lot of money. And it's something that I would have saw and I would have not thought, oh, that'll go for big money. I never would have thought that. So definitely be on the lookout for these. This is kind of an unexpected bolo in my opinion. And this one sold for $173.49. <clears throat> I'm not sure if what it's advertising 
increases the price or if these are just hard to find and all of them go for a lot. So definitely, definitely search solds if you see those. 12 spice shaker jar. Um, so these are super cute. They've got the little, I think that, is that a Scotty dog? Is that what it says? I don't know. Yeah, Scotty dog. And these are milk glass. These sold for $262. Super cute. 15 bids plus shipping. Nutmeg. Um, this is another, um, it's a McKee glass depression era. It's jadeite. And it's a nutmeg shaker. And this sold for $255 with 33 bids. Here's another one. And this one says sugar. Super cute. $362.57 for this one, guys. 19 bids. Cutco. If you've not heard of Cutco, this is definitely something to be on the lookout for. Um, lot of Josh. I don't know if you guys have seen his videos, but go and check it out. He picked up, I think it was two forks that he sold. He got them at a flea market, but he talks about it on one of his videos, but crazy what he sold two forks for. Pretty cool. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Sorry. These um, is a 14 piece sold for $366 with 43 bids. Vintage Hamilton Beach Milkshake Mixer, Jadeite Green. This sold for $82 with four bids. How cool is that? I remember I used to work at a dairy aisle and we used to mix up the milkshakes. I think I was 16. My first job. All right, this is a um, fish copper tin mold. So it's for jelly or cake. Things like that it says 21 inches long. This one happens to be a fish and it sold for $157.50 with four bids. Here is another one. This is a Santa and it's a cake mold. And this one is Griswold. So again, anything Griswold is like good, good, good. This sold for $205.50 with 43 bids. Griswold again, I'm just kind of showing you guys. Um, this is a Santa. This one sold for $301.99 with 31 bids. Now here's a bunny rabbit, and this one is Griswold also. I can, I'm going to see if I can find a little. Well, I don't know if this one is actually marked. It's got to be marked, I would think. Anyway. Anything cast iron that is like a cake mold, I would grab it if the price is right. This one sold for $371.75 with 18 bids. So this is another Griswold and this is a cake mold pan. And the seller started it out at one cent and it says no reserve. I'm just gonna show you the writing on here. This one sold for $479, 26 bids and free shipping on this one. And here's one more, which is the same thing as this one. Uh, let's see, I don't, that one says 965. Let me see what this one says, because this one went for 479 and this one went for 806. And they look to be really similar. So $806, guys. I want to find like 10 of these. Actually, I'd be happy to find one, but 10 would be even better. 965. Let's see. 965. So again, auction style. Let's go in. This seller started this auction at one cent and it sold for $479 with nine bid or nine unique bidders. And then this one, they started the auction out at $350 and it sold for $806 with nine unique bidders. So 10 day auction, I'm just trying to figure out, let's see, when did this one sell? 
This one sold March 7th. Sorry. And this one sold March 11th. So I'm guessing the people that did not win this one went over and, because this ended March 7th, they went over and bid on this one that ended on March 11th. So sometimes it's just a timing thing, but pretty cool, awesome bolos. Definitely be on the lookout for kitchen items. Don't skip the kitchen at the estate sales. Um, if you're not in my Facebook group, I've got a link below. Definitely join us. Please subscribe if you have not. If you could comment and like on the video, you will get an entry into my drawing. I will pick a name when I hit 1,500 subscribers. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.